Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video. Have you ever thought that am I studying so much or am I studying so less? If you're studying so much, then by how much? And if you're studying so less, then how less? In today's video, I will tell you a technique by which you can track your efficiency and you can improve yourself on a daily basis. You can be the better version of yourself by following this technique. I follow this technique called modified version of Pomodoro technique. I modified the Pomodoro technique. Before talking about modified version, let's first discuss what the Pomodoro technique is. So basically the Pomodoro technique is the time management technique. So this technique says that you divide your works in intervals of time. Traditionally in 25 minutes of length and five uh, followed by five minutes of break. Suppose I have to study using this Pomodoro technique. Then what I will do? I'll study for 25 minutes, then take five minutes break, then again study for 25 minutes, then again take five minutes break. But in those 25 minutes, it, it is always there in back of my mind that how much time is remaining. And I always used to keep on checking my stopwatch that 10 minutes are remaining, five minutes are remaining, more two minutes to go. So instead of focusing on my studies, I was distracted. Although I used to study, although I used to study in those 25 minutes, but some part of mind is distracted in checking the stopwatch. Yes, you can always set timer. You can always set alarm for 25 minutes, but I modified this technique. In the modified version, there are no limits. So you can study for any number of minutes and you can take break for any number of minutes. So let's say um, you can study for five minutes and you can take 10 minutes break and then again study for 15 minutes then again take five minutes break then again study for one hour and then take 30 minutes break. You can, uh, you have your own freedom. So now the question arises is how much time you should study in an entire day. A decent six hours on clock is good enough. So let's say you studied in an interval, right? X1 minutes you studied, then Y1 minutes you took break, then X2 minutes you studied, then Y2 minutes you took break, so on and so forth. So X1 plus X2 up till Xn minutes should cumulatively add up to six hours. And that will be good enough. I will suggest you to try this method and you will be shocked that hitting those six hours on stopwatch is really difficult. It's really very difficult. And for all these days, we are thinking that we are studying so much, but it is not my friend, it is not. Now how to use stopwatch? So whenever you are studying, start the stopwatch. Stop the stopwatch if you want to drink water. Stop the stopwatch if you want to take washroom break. Stop the stopwatch if you want to have your lunch. Stop the stopwatch if you're not feeling like studying. Stop the stopwatch if you don't feel that you're not able to concentrate. Stop the stopwatch if you're going to take a nap. That means you are only accounting those hours. You are only calculating those number of hours on stopwatch in which you are only studying with full concentration and full focus. This really helps. So now the question is how to track your efficiency. I will suggest maintain a separate diary, a notebook, or you can also maintain a Excel sheet or Word document. Write the date, day and number of hours you studied. It will help in many ways. So let's say if you want to study six hours every day, so weekly you should study 42 hours. Now let's say you study uh, on Monday, you studied six hours on Tuesday, you studied six hours, but on Wednesday, you studied three hours. That was off day for you. Or for some reason, you were not able to study six hours. So 
you always know that you studied 3 hours less so you have to cover up these 3 hours in the coming days for the week so that the average would be 42 hours in this way you will be sure that every week you are studying 42 hours and you are consistent enough and you are doing a hard work in beginning of the process while you will study using this technique don't worry don't worry at all it will be always difficult so earlier when i started this technique i used to sit for 10 hours to get those 6 hours on stopwatch i used to, there were days when i used to sit 12 hours on study table and then i used to get 6 hours on my stopwatch so uh, it is it is difficult but with time with practice you will surely learn how to focus and how to concentrate while maintaining your doc or diary you can always have a healthy competition with your friends as well you can always tell them that let's see who will achieve the weekly average of 42 hours there will be time when you will not be able to hit 6 hours every day but it's not a problem be it any exam the preparation the exam preparation demands consistency and hard work so be consistent if you are able to give 4 hours every day give 4 hours if you are able to give 7 to 8 hours on weekend give 7 to 8 hours on weekend but be consistent consistency is the key in the end a small advice from my side don't use stopwatch in smartphones or laptops otherwise there is a chance that you might end up browsing internet or using social media and which will waste lot of your time thank you so much i hope this video really helps you next video will be coming soon till then stay tuned and stay safe take care of yourself and your parents as well